using Excel to evaluate what phone calls result in revenue. The worth of a phone call is an important metric in determining the effectiveness of your ad campaigns. To calculate the revenue per call, it's quite simple. We're just going to take a look at the total sales that you get from phone calls divided by the total phone calls that you received. That will give you an idea of the revenue per call. The cost of a phone call would be the total amount of ad spending that targeted achieving phone calls divided by the total number of phone calls that you got inside of that campaign. This leads to the cost per call. So what's the goal? Well, we want to maximize the revenue per call, minimize the cost per call, and we don't want the cost per call to ever become greater than your profit per sale, or you're losing money. The quick and easy measurement consists of four steps. First, we're going to download a sales report from your CRM system to Excel. Next, we're going to download a call detail report from Mongoose Metrics. We're then going to merge that data together using familiar tools that you've seen and used before in Excel. And then we're going to calculate those metrics. So let's show an example here of how to pull a report from a CRM system. Here I'm actually inside of Salesforce, um, and I'm going to create a new report. Um, I'm choosing to take a look at the report on opportunities, and that's because uh, opportunities are the object inside of Salesforce that we're uh, storing actual sales and uh, revenue information in. And this is obviously all, all an example. Um, now I want to make sure in this report that I export the phone number, which is what you saw the field just get dragged in there. Now I only want to look at one opportunities, and I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to look um, at a date range that's definitely in the past. So I want to look at the uh, previous fiscal quarter. So you see that I have this whole list here of all of the one opportunities. These are all of our customers over the last fiscal quarter and I'm going to go ahead and run that report. Um, now by using a printable view I was able to export to a CSV file. You can see that uh, it opens up right here. I'm going to clean that up just a little bit and there we go. Now the key to all of this information right here is that uh, this is going to be different depending on however you're collecting information. You know, I'm using Salesforce here, which incidentally Mongoose has an automatic integration for. Um, but uh, y your mileage may vary. You're going to have to find some way of exporting your sales data along with phone numbers that are associated with those accounts and export them to Excel, whether that's through a CSV file or an Excel file. Just remember, the key is to make sure you get those dollar amounts in there. Now let's take a look at how to export a call detail report in Mongoose Metrics. You can access the call detail report on the call detail report tab underneath the campaigns. Let's take a look a little bit about how we select a date range. The date ranges should take into account the length of your sales cycle. So if you remember I was looking at last fiscal quarter so I would want to make sure that I was looking at phone calls and advertising that would have occurred before that last fiscal quarter. So for example, I'm going to go all the way back to August here to make sure that I account for as many phone calls as I possibly can. So we'll do August to December 31st. Um, you click View, and then all I need to do is export those call details by clicking on the link. That's going to go ahead and download a CSV file, which you'll see here at the bottom, and I can just open that up. Now I've cleaned this data up quite a bit, but what you'll see is that I'm focusing just on the incoming number, the keywords, and I even kept the keyword source column, uh, but we won't actually be using it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this whole table, and I'm going to put it in the original spreadsheet that we were working on from our export of data from Salesforce. So let's just go ahead and paste that in. Um, I'll go ahead and format these columns because it sees those phone numbers right now as actual numbers. 
Now we're going to go ahead and clean up the phone numbers that we exported from the CRM system. You'll see that they still have parentheses and dashes in them, and we need to get them formatted just as numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, clean phone column, and I'm going to use the substitute function inside of Excel to trim out parentheses, uh, spaces, dashes, um, dots, all kinds of things. Um, I know that this particular formula looks a little intimidating, but if you look up substitute on um, on Google, you'll see that it's actually uh, fairly straightforward what we're doing. Now after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I drag that formula down. So I have clean phone numbers for every single number that's there. And I'm also, you'll see that I have extensions here. Uh, you're going to have to manually remove any phone numbers from your CRM that do have extension information inside of them so that they are just 10-digit phone numbers. Now unfortunately those phone numbers are still text. So what I'm going to do here is actually copy one more column over and this is just because of a quirk of Excel. I'm going to copy all of these cleaned phone numbers that I've made and I'm actually going to paste them in the next column but I'm going to paste as values. Now I'm also going to make sure that those are all converted to numbers instead of text and this is important for the next piece. Um, unfortunately this is just a little bit of voodoo that you need to do with Excel to get it to work correctly. Now inside the keyword field here, I'm going to use the VLOOKUP command. VLOOKUP allows me to go ahead and cross-reference two tables in Excel. So the first thing there is that I'm going to go ahead and try to compare on phone number. I'm telling it to search through the data that I've imported. And we'll see there that uh, this is the call report data table that's over there to the side. I'm going to go ahead and I need to have it be taking the value from the second column. So I'm going to put a 2 there, which is the keyword column. And then I'm going to say false, which basically says that it has to be an exact match. It has to find the phone number in both places to put the keyword there. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag this formula down through each one of the columns next to the CRM software and you'll actually see there's the correlation data. Those are the actual keywords that people searched for to make those sales. Now let's tie it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of the columns here including the new keyword column. Um, I'm going to go to the Data tab in Excel and then uh, add a filter. So I can go ahead and filter by any one of these. And I'm going to filter just to the keywords that aren't blanks and aren't the uh, not applicable sign there. And so those will show me all the ones that we actually found correlations on. So there's the keyword for all of them. And we have an amount. And all I have to do is just highlight the amount and at the bottom of the screen I have the sum. Those are all the sales that I made from those phone calls. There were 20 of those phone calls. And the average sale was $454.60. There we go. Now, if I wanted to go and just see how I worked on a particular keyword, here I'm going to choose Mongoose Metrics, you'll see that that particular term was responsible for that much. So you can go ahead and do this analysis and uh, optimize your campaign. To find out more, check us out at mongoosemetrics.com or tweet with us at mongoosemetrics.